If by any chance you go by the username of CrispyMelon44, then just get off this video right now. And I'm saying this because this is a little cut match, and Griff really doesn't like little cut matches at all. It pretty much, hey, little cut match, dislike when it comes to him. But anyways, this little cut match is against the Deadly Bro Duo. They pretty much hit me up on the Smog on Wi-Fi Battlefinder, technically, but uh, at the time they hit me up, I was in the middle of a UU match, which wound up disconnecting. So uh, yeah, after that match, I decided to uh, hit them up on Skype, and uh, we had this little cut match. So anyways, looking at teams, I don't feel like I'm really threatened by anything due to the build of my team. And uh, But pretty much, I pretty much want to get rid of the Yamask and the Ball Toys so I can pretty much pull off a Mianfu sweep. Or if I can get rid of the Yamask and the Ponytail, I can, I can pretty much pull off an Oddish sweep. So the best thing I have to get rid of the both of them is probably going to be my Chin Chow. So... Pretty much keep Chin Chow, Mian Fu, and Ansh alive, and I probably should be pretty good for this match. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle, and let's get this show on the road! So, to start off, the Deadly Bro Duo decided to lead off with their Yamask, and I actually predict them to lead off with Cacnea, so I lead off with Larvesta here. And knowing that Yamasks tend to be physically bulky a lot, I just go for the U turn and try to go into something that wants to take a Will Wisp, and I thought our Submit Einer would fit the build best, but. They actually wind up going for the Shadow Ball and not the expected Will-O-Wisp. But I pretty much know that I can outspeed and slam them with the Hydro Pump, but they just live the head with about 1 HP and get off the Calm Mind because they actually rock, <laughs> rock the Oran Berry. And then I miss my next Hydro Pump, which is unfortunate, but I don't really think it mattered in the long run that, that much. But I live the Shadow Ball with one, which allows me one more Hydro Pump, and then they live, live that hit with one and take me out with, with another Shadow Ball. But knowing that Yamas live with one, I'm just going to be going to my Mianfu to pick it off with a U-turn, and unfortunately I give them the Switch Initiative, and I have to choose something that would be the best thing to go into. And the best thing would have to be this Chin Chow. But then they still have Cacnea, and, and this thing shows me Sucker Punch, which is excellent information for later, and I, I just have to go to the go for the Bolt Switch and bring in my Bronze Orb, because this is a, pretty much the best thing I have to take any hit from this Cacnea. But then it shows me Swords Dance, and I feel like I'm going to be in a wee bit of trouble with Bronze Orb. And uh, if you get Bronze Orb's nickname, please leave it in the comments. So, uh, back to the battle. Plus 2 Drain Punch is looking like a 3 hit KO on my Bronze Ore, which means I can tr try to pick off some more damage on this thing. And I pretty much go for Flash Cannon and do the deal because uh, Earthquake's not going to be doing that much. And uh, yeah, but it actually turns out that the next Drain Punch is actually going to get him a high damage roll. <laughs> so um, unfortunately, I am going to be losing any chances of that Brox this game. I'm going to be sending in my Mianfu to force that Kekinia out because they pretty much know I'm Scarfed and Sucker Punch won't do that much. And they actually switch out into Ponyta, which is a crying Chin Chow switch in for me. But they actually show me, re me return, and I actually live the hit with two, which is actually going to be coming into a wee bit of play later, as you will see. But the full switch happens, and I'm just going to be going straight out into my Mianfu. And just gonna try to go for the drain punch to pick off that pony top to help my odd shot a little bit. But Ball Toy comes in, and this is gonna force me to switch be because my man who is scarfed, and it actually gives him a free opportunity to set up rocks. But then I set up the sunny day, and I kind of forgot that these things tend to carry psychic. But fortunately for me, they just go flat out for the earth power. Which means the next turn I can fire up a solar beam and pretty much clean out this um, ball toy. And now, out comes Cacnea. And I know that this thing tends to carry the Sucker Punch, so I'm just going to use that prediction and go straight for the Sunny Day. And they actually call their shot on the next turn with the Sucker Punch. And unfortunately, I wind up losing my Oddish. So, Oddish, we have kind of failed there. But I can still pull off one with Mianfu. But uh, after the Sucker Punch, I just opt to go for the Drain Punch. And this is going to come into play later, as, as you will see. Not the crit, but the fact that I went for Drain Punch. As out comes um, Voltorb right now. I go for Drain Punch. It doesn't do that. 
It doesn't have to do it, oh, but they have the long bit. There we go. And <laughs> Thunderbolt is looking like a solid 2 hit KO on me right now. And unfortunately, this next Drain Punch doesn't quite kill. And the Thunderbolt is going to pick me straight off. And that crit probably did not matter <laughs> at all. And, uh, yeah. And Larvest is pretty much my last dope, but rocks are up. And I'm just lucky to take this thing out with Wild Charge and Limpid Damage. But if I went for a high jump kick over Drain Punch, I probably would have had a Manfu Sweep, and Bidoof wouldn't have to quick attack my Larvesta, and pretty much winning the game. Because Chin Chow is pretty much going to die after Rocks, and that will be the game. So the decision to go for Accuracy over Power kind of bit me in the butt at the end of the game. But, uh, another, and kind of looking back on it, another move I could have made was just to fodder off Chin Chow and then lock myself in on High Jump Kick. But, yeah, who knows if that, if that would have made a difference because High Jump Kick tends to miss on a lot of people. Cough, cough, Quanda, Ren 66, cough, cough. But, eh, it was still a pretty fun game, so, uh, <laughs> GG, the Deadly Bro Duo. And, uh, rate, comment, sub, and I will see you guys next time.